Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Caleb2K, and I am back with a brand new episode of this Minnesota Timberwolves My NBA Rebuild series. We are in episode six, I believe, and we just got our ass kicked by the Portland Trail Blazers in game one and two of the playoffs. So I decided, you know what? It's time for a serious adjustment. I'm not gonna sit here and wait for the supporting cast to cool off because I'm not trying to go down 3-0. You know what I mean? It's bet we game three is a must win. No matter what happens, we got to get that win. Actually, you know what? Before I even get into the rest of what I'm about to say, make sure you hit that fucking sub button, nigga. And hit that like button if you like the video <laughs> so that I know that you liked it, nigga. It's pretty simple. You know, liking videos, it means a lot. It really, like, seriously, it actually does some shit. It only takes, like, two, three seconds to do it. But anyways, as I was saying, the Blazers blew us out in game one and game two we got our ass kicked in both games so the approach for game three obviously we gotta make an adjustment and the adjustment that i'm gonna make is you know what instead of trying to stop dame and just let everybody else go off because as we have seen in the last episode that shit does not work at all i decided you know what how about we try something different how about we do the opposite how about i let dame go off and make sure nobody else does so dame can have his little 35 to 40 points a game but as long as the we're holding it so that the next best score doesn't have like 30 like as long as norman powell doesn't give us 30 or cj mccollum give us 30 we shouldn't have a problem because as you saw in game two like we can really flip the switch when our offense is when our when we're not getting fucking deep dicked on defense bro our offense is good we just have to our defense just can't be terrible if we have like we don't even have to be good we could be i don't even know how to describe it we could be mid mid defensively and as long as we're mid defensively we can flip this series around but the main focus is to win game three. So now it's time to get into the gameplay for game number three. The Western Conference NBA Playoffs round one continues. The Portland Trailblazers come into game three up two games to none. Will their relentless desire thrust them to a third straight victory? The scenery changes to hostile ground as they face off against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Check this out. Round one of the NBA playoffs continues. Welcome back to round one of the Western Conference playoffs. So we are back and it is game number three. And this game plan was simple. Instead of double teaming Damian Lillard, I decided, you know what, just put Ben Simmons on him single coverage as you can see right here to start the game off that's exactly what we want and then simmons just taking advantage of dame right there and we want to get the quick offense quick and early get hot fast because we don't want to be in situations like game two where we big we build these ginormous deficits and then have to claw our way back and one consistent issue that i've noticed in this series that i hope to fix in the off season is our bench no matter what happens as you guys have seen and you will continue to see throughout this the rest of this series is no matter what we do in the first five minutes of the game once the starters take a seat either if they're already winning their lead go their lead gets bigger if we're if we're winning they either take the lead or decrease the deficit or tie the game so like that i try to be making acrobatic layup with carl anthony towns that doesn't fall and then cj mccollum gets a wide open three so you know they're staying with us this game they really are and i'm not gonna lie i was a little bit nervous because i'm not trying to go down 3-0 and you see carl anthony towns getting the and one and like i told you guys when the playoffs come, I'm gonna be getting better with Cat. I know, I know, I made him. I made a lot of mistakes with him last episode, but hey, man, new episode, new Caleb, new Cat. You see, Buddy Hill step back three point shot. They missed the shot right there. A great deep from Tyrese Maxey, and you see, we're approaching halftime, and then Buddy Hill knocks on another contested three point shot. So we're going into this halftime with the lead 40 to 36. We're only up by four points. So we're going to try and expand on that lead in the second half of this ball game, which 
is not what we do. You see, I get this bucket with Cat. I hit the fadeaway. Absolutely put in Yusuf Nurkic in a straight up torture chamber. But as you can see, the Blazers cut the lead all the way down to three points. I don't know why I said that like they were only down by four points. They were. And then you see this nigga hits a fucking four point play. And I, I was I was tight. I was tight. I'm not going to lie. Cody Zeller gives to Tony Snell. And then this is another problem. We have no, like, we don't have any, like, good rebounders. So Cody Zeller is creating all these second chance opportunities for the Blazers. Keep them in this ball game. But it ain't that big of a deal. They end up taking the lead. So, like I said, it's time to step up. It's time to get the job done. You see Nas Reed with the ball making plays. Tyrese Maxey, top of the key, three-pointer, straight green. We tie this game right back up, and we're heading into the fourth quarter tied. And then Damian Lillard. You know what time it is. It's Dame time, and right now, with our season on the line, we got to figure out how to outgun one of the best playoff performers in the NBA currently. You see they take a four-point lead, but I hit Carl Anthony Towns for the mid-range. Green Bean in transition. And in the fourth quarter, as you can see, it's a very low-scoring game. But the fourth quarter for both teams is when we both teams really started to figure it out offensively, hitting shots. So then it really just turned into who's going to make the offensive mistake first. And I was like, hey, I'll be damned if it's us. So you see me continuing to hit shots. Just hit a three-pointer with D'Angelo Russell. Damian Lillard hits that contested shot over Ben Simmons I don't know how he didn't get blocked but I ain't even tripping because we're gonna get it back in blood when I hit this three-pointer in the corner with Buddy Heald and you're gonna hear his name a lot more in this quarter as you see him get another one to give us the lead we're up by two Ben Simmons getting the steal the drive to D'Angelo Russell he gets stopped back to Simmons and it's time to reset Pass it over to Towns. Towns gives it back to Simmons. And then guess who's wide open? Buddy Heald. That's nine straight points to give us a five-point lead when our team really needed a spark. And Buddy Heald driving, makes plays. Now the defense, they have to step up on him because he's hitting all these shots. And then he can make plays. Swing it over to Cat. Cat swings over to Maxi. Speaking of Maxi, he's going to hit another three-pointer right there. And that shot was pretty much the dagger. Like, after that, this game was pretty much over. I was just messing around right here, getting the three-pointer. I saw Cat had his takeover. So, I mean, like, we stat padding. Yeah, nigga, that's how we roll. So, we survived game three. And we now are, we don't have to worry about going down two to one. So now it's like, okay, it's time to focus up in game four. But as you guys can see, Buddy healed 28 points. And he shot 8 for 17 from three. Carl Anthony Towns came in 25 points, 16 rebounds. Ben Simmons, he's been consistent for us this entire series. 16 points, four boards, a steal, and two blocks. Maxi gave us three three-pointers in the second half. We really needed it. But D'Angelo Russell and Anthony Edwards both not really anywhere to be found. So game four, I'm going to keep it a stack. We we beat the brakes off of them in this game. You already, you could, I mean, like, as soon as I hit that shot, in my mind, I was like, okay, yeah, we hitting. And then I get the steal. Carl Anthony Towns, fast break, slam, dunk. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about this game. I'm just going to say we absolutely lit them up and carl anthony towns he was the main factor in that to start off this game you see him get another one and one you see him knocking down these jump shots i what did i tell you when the playoffs come i'm gonna figure it out buddy healed getting the and one and as you can see we're we're already building a lead but what did i tell y'all about this bench they always bring the other team back into this game but no problem because as soon as we put these starters back in we send them right back to the nether. We get the rebound after Cat misses. D'Lo's wide on for a green, green three-point shot. And speaking of D'Angelo Russell, remember he had a very quiet game three because he didn't shoot a ball a lot. And you see Ben Simmons driving. We are now in the third quarter. And you see we're just, we're just keeping our foot on their necks. D'Angelo Russell driving crossover and gets the slam dunk. He's got 21 points. And now in the fourth quarter, it's really just dropping dagger after dagger after dagger. You see Anthony Edwards getting that poster right there. Slammer jamma over Norman Powell. 
and now Cat in the pose, putting Cody Zeller in the torture chamber, but Damian Lillard wants to help, so shit, D'Angelo Russell, another three-point shot, now we're up by 20, then D'Angelo Russell gives it to Simmons, and Simmons posterizing Cody Zeller, now we're up by 29. Like I told you, I'm not really going to get too deep into this game, but we beat the brakes off of them. We beat them 114 to 94, so we're going to tie the series, and now we have a whole lot of momentum because it seems like we figured the Blazers out. You see D'Angelo Russell, 41 points, and Carl Anthony Towns, even though he started out on fire, he ends up with only 20, mostly because I kind of stopped shooting with him in the second half because, I mean, D'Angelo Russell was hot, and you see he had 22 points in the fourth quarter and didn't miss any of his threes in the fourth quarter as well ben simmons buddy healed buddy healed again just consistent from three anthony edwards he gets more touches but now it's time to get into game five where this is really the most this is the most important game of the series really because we want to go back to minnesota with the with a chance to end this series and you see D'Angelo Russell knocking down that contested three to get us started. But I'm not going to lie. Af out after the beginning, we really began to struggle. You see Ben Simmons driving. And, you know, we have to reset. But it's no problem for Ben Simmons because, I mean, he's a Norman Powell's a little baby. So we can get to the paint real easy on him. But, look, you guys are going to see. Damian Lillard starts the Blazers off with a three-point shot and look i'm telling you right now d'angelo russell so we try to respond back with a three of our own but you guys are about to see what i'm talking about you see the score 17 13 they get a little bit closer then jay crowder knocks down a three-point shot in the corner and these dudes man i'm telling you ever it it never fails the bench continues to keep the other team in the game and eventually they're going to take the lead and then they're going to continue to run away with that lead. You see us, CJ hits that three so I drive with D'Angelo Russell to try and stop the bleeding. I don't know how that layup didn't get blocked but you can see the Blazers are now up by five. Now I'm taking advantage of this mismatch with Carl Anthony Towns. Layup is up and in so now it is only a one point game. Norman Powell over to CJ McCollum, blocked by Simmons. This was a great play right here, in my opinion. Simmons getting the block. Then he goes coast to coast, Euro step poster to cut this lead down to three. And we're staying in it relatively, but we can't really make any like dents into the lead. Damian Lillard step back three, no good. Cody Zeller gets the offensive rebound, of course. And then he misses, gets his own board, and then gets the and one. And like I said, this is the type of stuff that we need to fix in the offseason. We need to get more playmakers, and we need to get more people who can be. We need to get a big body in the paint. As you can see, we're going into halftime down by 10 points. And you know what? This is manageable because it's not like we're down 25, 28, 29, like we were game one and game two. So in this second half, we really started to, you know, make a quick dent in the lead to begin the we went on a quick little run buddy healed knocking down that contested three-pointer you see we go on an 8 0 run to start the quarter but it's like when we started to make runs the blazers would just turn up on us and then get their lead right back just like that you see norman powell literally walking backwards and then knocking down the three-pointer right there to put their lead to 13 after we had cut it to four i believe and then Buddy Heal takes the screen, wide open three, green, bang! You already know what we do. So now, you know what? We're trying to make another run into this game. CJ McCollum gets stripped by D'Angelo Russell. Great defense. And now it's Ben Simmons and uh, Damian Lillard. You already know who's winning that battle. Ben Simmons straight, Euro step into the lane. Same thing right here. Ben Simmons on Anthony Simons. It really doesn't matter. Ben Simmons has a, he's a walking mismatch. You see, we cut the lead down to three. Ben Simmons has his takeover, and Ben Simmons is really taking over. Ah ha ha ha. <laughs> that was so fucking corny. But you see, Ben Simmons really taking over with this unit where he's running with the bench, where he gets to be aggressive, and when they bite, he could just he could dish it out to Tyrese Maxey or Vanderbilt or Nas Reed for the three-pointer. Speaking of Nas Reed, Nas Reed gets the offensive rebound off Maxey's miss, and Ben Simmons is going to take full advantage of yet another mismatch. And this lineup right here, this right here gives us the lead. You see, we were on an 18-3 run 
to end this third quarter. And Ben Simmons again just abusing these mismatches. Damian Lillard, though, he's not having that. Psych not nah, lied. He missed that wide open three pointer right there. And now Ben Simmons in transition and he's going to slam it down. And now we're up by six after being down by 19. That's a 25 point swing. Make it. Yep. Let's make it six with this slam dunk from Tyrese Maxey. I don't know how to do math. It shouldn't have took me that long. But Carl Anthony Towns in the corner. Three-point shot is green, green money. And then Mac, I mean, whoa, Anthony Edwards gives it back to Carl Anthony Towns for another green. And now we're up by nine. And we're just, I'm just taking over this ball game. Carl Anthony Towns, he cannot miss. He hits eight straight points. And now it's D'Angelo Russell's turn to get some. You see him Euro step, and now the lead is 15. We take over this game and we end up winning 95 to 87 after an incredible run in the third quarter, sparked by none other than Benjamin Simmons. Damian Lillard shot four for 19 from three, didn't go to the free throw line once. Only had 24 points, and that's the type. When when our defense can play like this, we're unstoppable because we won this game because of our defense because we only had 95 points. D'Angelo Russell led the way, 24 points, 8 for 14. Ben Simmons with 22. Cat had 19. Simmons had five steals and four blocks, so he played incredible defensively. And now it's time to talk about game six. So... Game six was literally like game six. This was honestly the best game that I've played with this team in this series so far. They they did not have a chance. You see, we started the game alley oop to Ben Simmons after getting the steal. Simmons hits over Carl Anthony Towns, and this was my best game with Carl Anthony Towns in this series as well. Absolutely stepping up to the plate. Ben Simmons dishing over to Buddy Heald for the three-pointer right there. I mean, like, everybody was getting a bucket. You see me crossing up CJ McConnell, step back mid-range, CJ McCollum, whoa. And then I hit it with D'Angelo Russell, post hook from Carl Anthony Towns. And then D'Lo driving, they bite, so I hit Buddy Heald in the corner for three. And it was just nobody could miss a shot. You see, but it's like, we're only up by one. And but it's all good though because that lead is gonna go from one to four when D'Angelo Russell knocks down that three-pointer in the corner Maxi knocks down the three-pointer at the top of the key and this game the bench actually did their thing when the starters took a seat They actually maintained our lead Carl Anthony Towns just shoots a rainbow clean over Damian Lillard's head And I mean the Blazers after this point they really did not have a chance Ben Simmons driving and slamming off the Euro step just look at that man just look mm, look at that second angle that shit looks amazing slam dunk carl anthony towns another three-pointer over damian lillard he might as well just be in the gym by himself because i mean damian lillard is not getting no contest ben simmons this was one of the best plays of the game you see ben simmons getting the block a flashy pass from half court and boom knocking down that three-pointer right there and yeah it was an early we were in but despite all of that we were only up by three points heading into the second half. And then Lillard gives it over to Norman Powell. And Dame crosses up and he gets a slam dunk. So the Blazers, they're they're this is their basically this is their last effort. You know, Cat over the heels, heel corner three pointer, money. But that last effort from the Blazers was short lived. And then you see we just start to we just start to turn up on them again we start to flip another switch we're heading into the fourth quarter and as you can see ben simmons drive into the paint in transition crossover gets past tony snell easily you lay and is good we're up by nine points and now it's a five point game in the fourth quarter but russell hits carl anthony towns towns hits that three pointer right there it's an eight point game another three pointer from towns now Towns taking advantage of the mismatch, gets fouled, and won. It's a double-digit lead, and Carl Anthony Towns, he is not done. But let me talk about Anthony Edwards. I haven't got a lot of highlights with Anthony Edwards. I'm stuttering so much. I haven't gotten a lot of highlights from Anthony Edwards this series, but in this fourth quarter, every you I could not do no wrong. 
Anthony Edwards getting the poster, then the corner three. Then D'Angelo Russell absolutely loses Damian Lillard in transition. And now we're up by 11. By this point, we're really just stat I'm just stat padding Carl Anthony Towns. You see Cat getting that slam dunk right there. You see D'Lo driving, kicking to Anthony Edwards for the three. And like I said, this series is well over, but right now I'm trying to have fun because this is the best game I've had with Carl Anthony Towns. You see I got his takeover, so I got to feed him, knocking down the three-pointer right there. And he's going to get it again. Ben Simmons driving, gives it to Cat. Cat just pulls it from the hash over Damian Lillard, nothing but net. We are up by 18 points. And now Ant, he runs the pick and pop play. Cat gets open once again. Boom. Turns around. Don't even see it go in. But he knew that went in. I knew that went in, nigga. That shit was green. Ant driving. That's a posterizer. And man, that was pretty much it. We win this series. We win four straight after getting embarrassed in games one and two. We win 130 to 118. And like I said, this was absolutely our best game. You can even tell just by looking at the stat sheet. Carl Anthony Towns gave us 33 and 13. Though that's the most I've scored with him. And you see his efficiency. He's 13 for 22. You see the highlights hitting post fadeaways and things of that nature. Ben Simmons, 22 points, 4 steals, and 3 blocks. D'Angelo Russell with 20 points, 13 assists. Anthony Edwards with 20 points on really good efficiency. Buddy Heald with 15 points. Every Tyrese Maxey with 13 off the bench. Everybody came to play. And now we're focused on our second round opponent. The number one seeded Los Angeles Clippers who just swept Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks. So, we got our work cut out for us. And as you can see, a major change is that they have Bogdan Bogdanovich and Nick Batum is also not on the team. So, I'm assuming they traded Nick Batum to the Hawks for Bogdan Bogdanovich. But you see, he's shooting 47% from three in the playoffs. So... I'm going to just talk about what we're going to do against the Clippers. So the game plan, we're just going to start out with putting Ben Simmons on Kawhi Leonard, obviously. Then I'm going to have Anthony Edwards on Paul George because Anthony Edwards, I mean, we don't have a lot of good defenders, but he's our second best defender. And then I'm going to put D'Angelo Russell on Reggie Jackson and just see what happens with that. And then Buddy Heald is going to be on Bogdan Bogdanovich. And with the Clippers... They have the offense, but they also have the defense. So one thing that we cannot do like we did in that Blazer series is just rely on our offense to just bail us out. When We can't just rely on, we can't just slack off and give up deficits because this team will score on us and then clamp us up as well. So we really got to be careful about that. We got to focus up because, look, after what we did to the Portland Trailblazers, after that one adjustment, what it showed to me is that we're one of the better teams in the Western Conference. So now this matchup against the Los Angeles Clippers is really a test. Just see how good we are. Do I expect to win this series? No, I honestly don't because I know better than that. But I... I want to be competitive. I don't want this team to just roll over. I want to see just how close we are to being contenders because I want this Minnesota Timberwolves franchise to be a powerhouse, to be a finals contender by next year. So I'm going to give it my all. We're going to see what happens because there is a huge talent. There is a huge talent of difference between us and the Los Angeles Clippers. So hopefully we can use this series as a learning experience and then next season figure out what went wrong. If, but once again, we didn't even lose yet. We haven't even played them yet, right? But I'm just assuming what's most likely going to happen. I mean, let's be real. I'm not the GOAT. At, I'm not the best 2K player in the world. And I'm playing on Hall of Fame. I'm, I'm, I'm playing on like advanced Hall of Fame, bro. Like the other team has their sliders in the 60s. Mine are in the 40s. Everything's easier for them. Everything's more difficult for me. So there's a real possibility that we not winning. But... I want to at least be competitive if we can at least extend the series to six games assuming we don't win it that would be good that would be great for me because i mean shit nigga we taking the number one seed to six games but the next episode is going to be 
the first round the second round against the los angeles clippers if you guys enjoy this content leave a like so i know you liked it nigga that's kind of you know what i mean like how am i supposed to know that you like it if you don't tell me you like it you know what i'm saying like how am i supposed to know because what if i just stop uploading these what if i just stop uploading these videos that you like because i didn't know you liked them because you never told me because you never liked the fucking video you know what i mean so just just like the bitch so i know but anyways appreciate y'all stay safe it's a lot of crazy shit going on in the world so you know just continue to be smart and be healthy and be safe and all that good shit anyways i'm not even trying to be a role model or a teacher or none of that shit but i don't even know what i'm talking about right now niggas subscribe to the channel if you're new like the video so i know you liked it and if you missed the last episode watch it even though you already know what's gonna happen because you kind of spoiled it for yourself just watch it nigga experience it see what happened while knowing what already is gonna happen i'm just gonna well, I'm on a tangent right now. I'm just talking. I'm just sitting here talking, nigga. Bye. Bye. Damn. Fuck is wrong with me?